Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's fourth ride, um, we work on some stopping and letting her just stand there, desensitizing while I'm up there, like rubbing all over her while she's moving and, st and standing. Sorry about that. Uh, we work on some flexing. I work on trying to get her to trot. So stick around if you want to watch our journey. And I'm going to be trying to post one video every single time I ride. Um, depending on what we do that day will depend on the length. But if you guys are interested in that, comment down below and let me know so that I know if I should do it or not. I also am trying to do an assumptions and a never have I ever video. Um, so if you guys have any assumptions or never have I evers, comment those down below. I need 10 of each in order to do a video. So um, I didn't really fiddle around with her today. I just kind of got on her and flexed her and then asked her to move. And you can see she's very willing to move out going this direction. Uh, the more that I kind of work with her, the more I'm going to have to really work on her right side. Because if you look here, she's kind of arced and she's moving kind of freely. And as you'll see later through the video, when I ask her to go to the right, she's like stiff as a board and not wanting to move and not bending. And yeah, so we'll work on it. I'm practicing kind of loving on her, tapping all over her. While I'm up there, moving the saddle, moving my legs. Here's going to the right. And she pivots. <laughs> it's okay. It's still, I'm not going to get mad at her for pivoting. But you can see she's leaning to the inside. She doesn't want to stay out on the rail. At this point, I don't really expect her to stay on the rail. But I would like her to move um, out of the center. And, you know, start moving out more freely. So we're definitely going to just do a ton more of working on that right side. She's pretty good about flexing, except she, you'll see here when I kind of pull both reins up and back, uh, she likes to drop her head clear down. I don't want her doing that, and as you can see on the right side, she, I really have to pull and bump her head a lot. So her right side is definitely her stiffer side. It is her stiff side on the ground too, so not a surprise there. So I cut some out, and it was like a almost a 25 minute ride. I let her kind of stop and then turn her. And right there I said, whoa, just stop my voice and very lightly picked up on the reins and she stopped. But look right there, her leg is cocked. This one thing I love about her is she's already comfortable with the walk. So she just, when I stop her, she just cocks that leg automatically, which is a great thing. She's backing up real nice and there that leg is cocked again. I'm just practicing coming a rubbing on her. I'm just letting her get used to me moving up there. The last few days I've been kind of tight, so I don't want one day when I forget a that I never desensitized her to moving and then I move and then we have an issue. So I do a ton of rubbing on her and you'll see me rub all over her butt and jump up in the saddle a little bit, kind of bounce a little bit. Right there I petted her while she was walking and she did good the first couple steps and then she kind of got confused like, wait, am I supposed to stop? And I just kind of nudged her forward and said, nope, let's keep going. And trying to do my best to keep my legs still. But she's one that kind of when I stop, she stops moving. So it's hard, but I'm keeping my legs as still as I can without letting her stop every couple steps. <laughs> we'll get there. I'm letting her kind of go where she wants, but then I am practicing going to the right. You can see that turn is way different than when she goes to the left. So like I've been saying, it's just something we're going to have to work on. So I do like the fact that she's moving out freely. She's very, very slow. <laughs> but I think that's actually a good thing for right now. Because if I do speed her up or a deer jumps the fence beside her or the kids in the neighbor's yard are playing and screaming and she spooks, I think I'd be able to shut her down faster, if that makes sense. Just because she does move so slow. Uh, I'd be maybe, I might be able to kind of get ahead of her and shut her down. But, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully we never find out. <laughs> but I know at one point or another she's going to spook. But I do like, like I said, that she's moving out freely. Right there, I kind of practice leaning forward. Scratching on her. Reaching back and touching her butt without warning her. Um, wiggling the saddle. She kind of braces herself there, which I'm perfectly fine with. Here I practice standing up and sitting down like I would if I was going to post. Because I have ridden horses that spooked at that because they never had it done so again here same thing i just walked her around for a little bit and stopped her and i'm just kind of desensitizing her to me being up there so that if i ever move around it doesn't scare the living daylights out of her 
she does kind of, like I said a minute ago, she does brace when I do this, but I think she's just trying to figure out her balance. I don't think she's doing it for any bad reason, because my reins are kind of loose when I do that. She's a very good horse, but very lazy. So right here you can see me pulling and asking her to move over, and she's not. And right there I push my heel into her, and boom. She took a couple steps over, so I automatically take off the pressure. Because, you know, for fourth ride, she's already responding to my legs pretty well. Um, I can't complain about that at all. Because, I will tell you, Rose, I think it took a good two weeks before she even started to listen to my legs. Besides me kicking to ask her to speed up. So there, I'm kind of tapping because she's ignoring and not moving. And I do try to get her to trot. <laughs> And so right here I'm trying to get her to trot, and so what I'm doing is kind of pushing, um, like I would squeeze, and kissing, and if she's not moving then I'm kind of pushing my heel down into her, and she's just, she's not going to do it. So, I'm trying again, we did like a whole two or three laps of trying, and she's just not going to do it. There's, like right here, I'm trying to even do it straight off the corner. There's a few times that she almost did, but she was almost yeah, jamming me into the fence. Home. So I, I didn't want to get her, her jamming my leg into the fence, if that makes sense. But she sped up a couple times, so she did kind of speed up her walk. Right there she dropped her head a little low, so I'm asking her to pick it back up. Um, when she sped up, I did take off the pressure to let her know that she had the right idea. Asking her to back here. And I'm asking for more than one step. So right here she kind of raises her head a little bit and gets a little confused, but she still tries. Oh. You are so lazy! <laughs> She's such a lazy you know horse, that? guys. I can't even explain it. So lazy! Right here I'm just giving her some scratches. So very lazy! Just allowing her to kind of stand there with me for a minute. Going back and flexing that right side. So I, I just don't want her head going clear down. Like she will take it clear to the ground. She does it when I flex her on the ground. So when she takes her head down more than chest level. I just pick up those reins and kind of bump her. And ask her for her head to come back up right there. I just showed I didn't. I wasn't flexing her anymore. And she just kept her head there. <laughs> she's very very light on that left side. It's this right side that she's like, mm, I'm not going to try. So we're going to be doing lots of softening once we get up to the trot and the canter and practicing bending and things like that. I'm excited for that, if I can ever get her to trot and canter. I want her to be a barrel horse, but um, I'm not quite... There's her leg cocked again. I'm not quite sure how that barrel horse thing is going to work out with her. <laughs> I'm hoping the more I ride her, the more she kind of loosens up. Because you can see, I think the reason she goes so slow is because she's still kind of nervous. Because there are times here, I'm just letting her sit and relax with me up there. Um, there are times at the walk that I, when I go to the right there, I'm just practicing moving my legs and randomly moving. Um, when I go to the right, she sometimes just kind of tightens. I can just feel her body tense up a bit. So, I think she's just still nervous. So, but she did so good. I mean, for her fourth ride, this is really, really good. I'm so proud of her. So, here I kind of wanted to practice yielding her butt over because if you remember the first ride, I got her to do it a couple of steps. Uh, and she's just like, I'm not doing this. But she did move over a step, so that's when I turned her and said, Alright, let's go do something else. Alright, guys. And this ride... Um, tried to get her to trot. She at least sped up. I'll give her that much. She did speed up. But there was a couple times she almost went into trot. I could feel her about to break, but she's just so close to the fence. I don't want to bash my leg into the fence. And as you can see, going to the right, she's very stiff. She doesn't even really walk normal. She just kind of doesn't arc and doesn't move. So I'm going to have to work on to the right more. <laughs> Bye, guys.